birthday. Salam alaikum, Baba. Salam alaikum, Baba. When they get a bit older, bro, because at the moment you can't put any of them down and not and just leave the room, you know. And I think that's probably when it starts getting a bit more clockwork. When you can put Zakaria somewhere and just leave him, you know, for a good amount of we time. We can, we can kind of, to be fair, like with Zakaria, really? like, uh, if, yeah. If we if we open his toy box up, you can leave him because I know in this house um, we've locked the uh, appropriate things mm. and we've made sure that you can't climb on certain things stuff like that i'm yeah. fairly uh, i'm fairly okay with that um and he plays he just plays like he but he's so independent with his um with his playing like he just plays with his cars he's recently mm. started playing with his dinosaurs so he's okay with that to be honest yeah. i had to um i had to replace our coffee table uh recently i bought a new coffee table because our coffee table was had like a glass um oh, surface right, at the yeah, top yeah. of it and so he would like to climb onto it and jump on it um, no and so we, yeah, we've got rid of it now, and I've got like a stone uh, mm. kind of table now. I mean, obviously we've got baby gates. We've got in we've got what we've got two. So we've got do we have two? Yeah, we've got one for the stairs because I live on a sort of above a um, above a shop, so we, we're straight upstairs. But one for the stairs, stop him going there, and then one for the kitchen because we haven't got a door in our kitchen. It's just an open sort of kitchen, um, and that Mine's stops him from going kitchen. anywhere. Is it? Oh yeah, I've been around. Yeah. Yeah, so mine's connected you, to the living room, so it's impossible. To, oh, yeah, it's impossible. But I suppose all you could do is like get locks for every single cupboard at the that's bottom. That's what we've least. had to do. Yeah, it's fine. We've literally got locks for every single cupboard, and he's ripped one of them off recently. It's only the yeah. tin cupboard, so it's not anything dangerous in there. Yeah. But he just takes all of the tins out, and it's yeah. just so annoying. And this is the second <laughs> lock we put on that cupboard, so I'm give, I've given up now. So I'm going to leave it now because it's not dangerous, but it's just frustrating because he like at some point in the day he goes in like. There's tuna cans on the floor and like, yeah. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the Euros? No, I don't care about any of that stuff. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It does not interest me. Don't even know where I'd watch it. That's another thing. Like My son is way more into football than I am. Only because I bought him a ball and he just kicks it around. Like, bro, he can dribble. I've got it all on video, by the way. Like, his first sort of interaction with this football on a, on a pitch. And like, at first I was like, what are you doing? Come on. Kick the ball. Stop picking it up. <laughs> My son's and then after a bit, after a bit, like he's just like dribbling, bro. I was like, whoa. I sent it to my dad. I sent a video to my dad. I was like, dad, boys, look, look at him. I can't do this at his age. He's just dribbling. Just knew what to do straight away. <laughs> That's amazing, man. Yeah, man. It's amazing seeing that stuff. It reminds me of your the, com the last conversation we had on Dad's Zone. We were talking about whether we should encourage them to get rich through football or whatever. <laughs> I saw, like, even, even today at the park, there was this couple, right? And the dad, and he, they were saying that um, they were saying that their son for, is six, six years old. <clears throat> right. He's really tall, bro. This kid, this kid, really. Uh, that's my kid over there. Really tall kid, six years old. And they were like, "Yeah, he's just like really, he doesn't look six, but he's really big for his age." Um, and all I kept thinking, bro, was if you train him now to be a goalkeeper. He will be a great goalkeeper. You, always, you now know he's going to be tall, right? Get started. That's all I kept thinking. I thought, how, how polluted is my mind? Just channel <laughs> your child for success. You're trying to be monetize your children. <laughs> yeah. You've got a great advice here. You know he's going to be tall. Monetize now. Anything <laughs> tall, attack. He's got the unfair advantage of being tall. Oh, yeah, man. It's, uh, it's messed up. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you need some counselling or something, bro. You need to sort that out. Like, I do, I do. Yeah, something. <laughs> trying try to fulfil really your dreams and your children. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. I'm trying to fulfil my dreams with other children, other people's children who I've just met in the park. <laughs> bro, you you mingle with other parents like that's crazy to me. No, 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 no. no. He was like, he, the kid is half English, British, and half Filipino. Right. Like, if he doesn't make it in the England squad, he can make it in the Philippine squad. Bro, it's amazing. He's got such a high chance of being a goalkeeper here. He's okay. tall. He could be in the Filipino national team, with the English national team. There's so, he, he, this kid goes so many places. Bro, leave this child alone. He's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. No, no, no. Should, no, I, buy, no, no. should I go on Amazon and buy him some goalie gloves and then just go back to the same, <laughs> same park? Just wait. <laughs> same time. Wait for the yeah. show up.
I got these for you. We really Same need it time next time, week. So in I case you might appreciate this. In case, in case, in case it is, we, I don't know. They might go to that park on a weekly basis. Just like leave some goalie gloves there for a six-year-old. Fair enough, bro. Oh, that reminds me. We kicked the ball over a fence the other day, and it landed in. A, you know, the bowls sort of. You know that that that, that particular sport that is very much a niche for the elderly. No bowls. offense to anyone who plays bowls. Yeah, mm. but um, hey, it's not bowls looks fun. Elderly. It does look fun, actually. It, it's my kind of game. You know, it's very calm, very strategic. Just I don't know about the social implications of me playing bowls. Uh, I need to find like-minded individuals to have a go with it. But yeah, I kicked our football into that fence and Suleiman was gone bro he would not stop crying he thought I did it on purpose I tried to get in the car and leave because I said I'd buy him another one because it was locked basically and um no he just had an absolute meltdown in the car so I did buy him another one eventually but there's that level of attachment I suppose they get to things that they enjoy that um it's like the end of the world for them when it when it disappears subhanAllah. say say to him listen kid whoa in life you lose things. And guess what? You never get them back. <gasps> so you've either toughen up now. You're quite a bad Or deal your entire life with dad, don't you? Loss. No. Yeah, no, I am I'm quite unsympathetic because of dad. This, this I just double want dad be... thing has okay. ch changed you. Yeah, yeah. I was so your, uh, you've, early you've episodes of Dad's doing I was so <laughs> relaxed. Yeah. Bro. In fact, I was go get the ball back, right? Climb over those fences, bring it, and then I'll I'll split the ball <laughs> in front of him. It's gone now. Wow, you're like a, it's a new toy with that mic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, so, uh, we'll uh, um, rectify ourselves, bro, because you're scaring me with your uh, aggressiveness. Yeah. <laughs> you're bad for the kids, bro. <laughs> Boy, just no, want to very, play I'm with very, some tuna I'm in the cupboard, soft. and you're kicking off it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to play with tuna? Well, guess what? Here we go. Now you have to go. Now you have to go catch some tuna in the Japanese sea. Those are some good oh, hands. Oh, and you think I'm and you think I'm paying for your flight to Japan? No. <laughs> Walk there. <laughs> you're pretty, pretty good with that tuna. You should be a master fisherman. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me sponsor you. <laughs> 